Let's talk about why we don't give medications through arterial lines. 99.99% of medications that you give as a nurse are going to be administered through an IV because these are intravenous medications. There's a very, 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 very small percentage of medications that can be given through arterial lines. However, this is not the norm, this is not common, and your general medications, your IV antibiotics, your uh, electrolytes, your IV push medications should not be given through an arterial line. And there's a couple reasons for this. First, when you give a medication through an, ar an artery, it goes into the artery and those arteries get smaller and smaller until they turn into arterioles and they're in the capillary beds, and then they go into veins and go up to the heart. Essentially, the, the tube that you put the medication in is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller before it gets bigger again and goes back to the heart. Whereas in veins, if you give a medication in a vein, the veins get bigger and bigger and bigger because the medication's going directly to the heart. A lot of IV medications that we give can be very caustic and irritating to veins. So if you put those same medications in arteries and you cause damage to the arteries, this can be very, very bad. If you damage an artery, then you're damaging tissues and you're causing lack of oxygenation to those tissues. You can end up with necrosis and ischemia, which is not good. Veins can also get damaged. I don't want to neglect that point. However, you have a lot more of them and the damage tends to be less than if you were to give that same medication through an artery. Also, if you were to give a medication through an artery and there were, were a ton of air bubbles in it, that's going to be more damaging because again, those arteries get smaller and smaller and turn into arterioles and really small capillary beds. Whereas if you gave some air through a vein, it is less likely to have a dramatic effect. I'm not promoting giving air to a patient. I'm just saying those tiny air bubbles that may not have an effect in a vein can have a bigger effect in arteries. As a side note to ease your mind, it would be very, very weird to give a medication through an arterial line. The point of access is different than what you would give, you know, as far as medications or uh, as an IV or a central line, the whole connection is different. So if you are giving a medication through an arterial line, there's going to be a lot of steps that you just totally neglected and missed. And it's, it should feel very weird. Moral of the story, you do not give any medications through an arterial line unless they're ordered intra-arterial, just like we only give IV medications intravenously.